What's going on? Eric 742 with Eric's RC channel. Um, today this, or this video, not today, I've done a bunch today, but um, this video is going to be showing me how I'm going to end up mounting the ESCs onto the arm and also cutting these wires and adding the bullet connectors and getting them mounted up to the motors with the bullet connectors. So that's what I'm going to go through on this video. I'm just going to go through it on one arm because all the other arms are going to be the exact same. So if you guys are following the build, just follow the same steps. Um, okay, so first thing I'm going to do is see exactly where I'm going to mount this. It's going to be as close to the inside as I can get, which I believe is going to be about right there. And the motor wires go out about... It's going to be close. Um, they're still going to be a little slack too, so they're going to be really close to the um, the ESC. But that's okay. I'd rather have that than a whole bunch of slack. So. This is going to get cut right here. All three of them. I almost should have bought the ESCs without the uh, without the cable sticking on. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and strip these just a little bit. Not much. You don't need much for these bullet connectors. You do need to get all the rubber off though. Okay. Alright. That ought to do it just like that. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tin each one of these. And then we'll tin the inside of the bullet connectors. And we'll be good to go. Alright, so I'm just gonna do I guess one wire at a time here. Good to have one of these handy alligator clamp and sot these little soldering helpers. They help out a bunch. All right, now where is my solder? I'll go ahead and use the, the 6337 rosin core. All right, my iron's been on. It's nice and hot. I'm just gonna tin these. Alright. I don't even really need the clamp for this. I mean the, the alligator clip, so we'll just move right along. Alright. So all three of those are tinned, ready to go on that part. I can go ahead and disconnect that. Uh, the next part we're going to do the, going to put, we're going to tin the uh, 3.5 millimeter bullet connectors that are going to connect onto the motor. So I'm just going to put it, try to get it in view for you guys. Um, just put it straight up like this. It's not straight up, but close enough. Now I'm just going to heat the connector and feed it straight down. I'm trying to do it so you guys can actually see this time. One of my other videos, I cut off a bunch of, bunch of stuff. You wouldn't see, now you can see it, okay. All I'm going to do is heat up this connector real good. Drop a little solder in there just like that. That one is done, but very hot. Very, very hot. 
So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the other clamp I got here. And it's just, we're soldering, we're just untinning the inside of that little part right there. Make sure you guys can see. Just applying the iron to the metal. Popping some solder in. Alright, so that's two out of three. It's not so bad anymore. And last one. So we got the three bullet connectors tinned. My tip, my tip is getting a lot dirtier than I normally like to have it. Turn this down for a second. Okay. So now we're ready to solder our. Ah, our bullet connectors onto the wires. So, what we're going to do, this thing will turn, I'm just going to put it right up here, going to heat up the bullet connector, and we're going to drop the, the tinned wire right into it, and we're going to let it get molten together and meld. I'm going to try to do this where you guys can see. I don't mess it up in one of my other, my last video. Okay. My hands are shaking. This isn't very sturdy. Let me get it. There we go. So I'm just going to get the solder nice and molten like that. And I'm pushing the wire in there as far as it goes. It's not very deep, so that's as far as it reaches right there. But that's a good solid joint. That's a nice joint right there. Okay. All right, on to the next. Hope you guys can see okay. Let's get this nice and molded. Drop that down on there, let it meld together. You want to let the wire that's tinned heat up enough to uh, take hold. Two, one more. And when we tend them, you can see uh, it's just filled with solder and it's not very deep at all. But, all right, this is the last one. Then we'll put some heat shrink over them. And I normally like to uh, hard solder my connections, but in this case, um, since I don't know the orientation of the motors yet, or which way I'm going to have them spinning with different wires, I'm 
I haven't used his ESCs before, so. I am going to just use the bullet connectors. Alright. Alright, now I can turn the iron off. And I have three connectors right here, and they are just going to slide right together like that. So basically we can put heat shrink all the way up to the the end of that. Let me get some heat shrink. I got colored heat shrink out and all kind of stuff. That's too small. exact with this stuff. It's just it's just heat shrink. You're just protecting the connection. That one might be a little too small. Okay. I have a torch also so This one's almost out of, almost out of gas. I just want it just at the end of there. But I'll just get that partially on there. Okay. All right. to the next one. Like I said, I want it just on the end so it provides protection. And I am trying to let you guys see what I'm doing. I've made that mistake too many times now. Thinking you got a good view for somebody and uh, you can't see a thing. And this will be the last one. That one wasn't perfect there, it's got some exposed uh, little piece of exposed metal. But that's okay because once I get this all done, I'm going to be putting a piece of heat shrink over the entire thing after I realize what kind of orient orientation this needs to spin in and which way it'll make it spin. So I can switch these around and then I'll heat shrink over the entire thing once I get them correct. Alright, so. The one thing was I wanted these wires go this way. I'm gonna put the uh, this and trying to it'll fit. It's just a tight fit. Get that up in there. All right. I want all these wires to just kind of go up in there. At least that's what I was planning on. Get one started and get the other one started. Okay. All right. This seems like it worked out pretty well. 
Got a nice and um, if you can see them right here, you can't really. They're just nice little tuck right there. Nothing um, nothing that's gonna cause any interference or anything. So that works out perfectly. Um, so next, I want them right on the end there, just like that, and they will just snap right in with the bullet connector. So let's go ahead and get this thing zip tied. Now I chose red for the two fronts for the zip ties because I, I want to uh, be able to differentiate. I'm not going to make them too tight at first. Why did I do that? I like to have my stuff look a little better. I like all my stuff going the same direction. No, I'm not making them tight. Um, all right, we will just. Plug the motors in, the motor in. Okay. Looks like a nice. And I'm not going to zip tie these up just yet. Um, just the ESC part because I want to be able to have access to these because I'm going to have to change them around to get this spin in the right direction. So let's go ahead and tighten up the. Zip ties on the C, nice and tight. All right, and that is it for this part of the video, guys. Um, this is the ESC. It's already soldered to the PCB. I got the uh, the wire already up through there, but in the middle of the arm. Um, pretty clean. Uh, once I get these done, I'll uh, just zip tie this a little bit and uh, be a nice clean install for the arm. All right, guys. Hope you found this useful. And uh, I don't know what I'll call this. Build part three point. Build part three point. We'll go with three point six. And uh, same thing for each arm. So five more. But all right, guys. Take care. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, see you around.